This week on QDL, we look at a scanning electron microscope. And uh, this is not your father's scanning electron microscope. Find out more in 30 seconds. Welcome back to Quality Digest Live. QDL is your weekly look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest. And when a Nikon Metrology said they were going to send us an SEM, I was expecting, you know, like the things that used to be the size of a refrigerator. And so when this showed up, I thought it was uh, maybe the computer for the SEM. But as uh, Dennis Fenn, uh, Senior Technical Sales Engineer from Nikon Metrology, will tell us, uh, no, this is actually the SEM. That is correct. Dennis, thanks for joining us in the studio again. Uh, tell us about uh, JOL, right? That's the name uh, of the company? JOL. Uh, Nikon has a partnership to market the uh, JOL, the benchtop system, in North and South America. Uh, it's a very nice bridge uh, for our optical microscopes to maybe a, a larger SEM in that you know we, we start to get to the maximum resolution limit of about 1,000, 1,500x in optical. But with this, we can go up to uh, you know, 100,000, 200,000 digital magnification with this uh, benchtop SEM. Now, I mean, I was joking kind of there at the beginning, but I mean, it wasn't all that long ago when an SEM of this caliber was really the size of like, it was huge, right? I mean, maybe not the size of a refrigerator, but pretty darn close. It took a forklift to lift it. It took a forklift. Well, this almost took a forklift <laughs> to lift it. Um, so b before we get into this a little bit, just uh, kind of refresh people's memories of what an SEM is, and maybe just roughly how it works. Uh, uh, SEM is a scanning electron microscope. Uh, you have an electron gun inside the system that accelerates the electrons with some guiding optics on it so it can focus the beam and it uh, hits your sample and scatters the electrons and you detect those electrons and instead of like an, on a white light microscope you detect photons in this case you detect the electrons okay so tell us more about the JOL then uh, this is a brand new uh, JCM 7000 this is the uh, latest in the in multiple generations of the benchtop SEM uh, this is a, a big jump in technology from the from the previous version the, the JCM 6000 plus okay and uh, what are some of its features uh, this feet, this has uh, higher magnifications, it has a backscatter and secondary detector. It has two different modes for low vacuum, so that we can better uh, image non-conductive samples. Okay. Uh, and I believe this does something uh, called uh, elemental analysis uh, as well, right? It does. There's Which is, a, I guess, standard with an SEM. I mean, Well, it, it's not standard. This you can buy it with or without the okay. EDS. So okay. standard in that, yes, it's offered on the system, but you can buy just the plain imaging system if you so choose. But if you need elemental analysis, you can add the EDS to it. Okay, and uh, take us through the uh, through the steps. Okay, so the uh, the operator interface is is pretty simple. Um, we can either do just a secondary observation, uh, or we can do map analysis or elemental analysis. We're just in uh, secondary right now, so I can either zoom my image by scrolling the mouse. If I get the sample where I like it. Um, I can just take a picture if I like, uh, or if I need to, I can do a right mouse click here. I can do also do you know just a sample uh, autofocus, uh, auto uh, auto stigmation, or auto contrast and brightness as well to get the image the way that I like it. Once I got it there, you just go ahead and click the photo button, and then you actually get your your full scan and your uh, and your image is uh, is captured. And uh, you're done. Oh, so so it does a preliminary scan, just kind of a what, like a rough scan? Kind it's of? a raster scan. A ra it's, okay. it's called a live scan here. Okay. Um, and it'll be a little bit more grainy um, okay. because you are scanning an electron beam. Right. If you had it at the highest resolution, it'd be scanning a lot slower, okay. which just makes it a little bit more difficult to focus and adjust your sample. Okay. So you use you use that that first that that uh, that first pass just to kind of see where you're at and then you you say you're ready and now you and, you and then you capture the high resolution image okay how long does it take to scan an image uh that right there was to the scan an image so i oh, have wow. okay. i have some options here on uh how i do do that so i can collect an image in 10 seconds 20 seconds or 80 seconds okay and i can also choose different resolutions for the for the uh, for the uh, micrograph and speaking of resolution so what kind of resolution do you get uh, this system uh, gets down into the 20 nanometer range. 20 nanometers, that's, uh, that's really small. Yes. And once you've captured the image, you do 
what kind of uh, what kind of things are you doing with the image? We mentioned elemental analysis, but I mean, how are people typically using this? Uh, this system is used for all those two things. You can also do measurements with this software as well. So you just take a, a caliper and measure from one feature set okay. size side to the other. But mainly, this is used for uh, documentation, for imaging, uh, and for elemental analysis. Okay. And who's mostly using this type of equipment? A wide range of industries. We sell a lot of these even to customers that have a full-size SEM. Okay. But there may be a lab in some other building and the engineer wants to get his parts back right away and they have to send it to the lab. It takes three, four weeks to get back. Or even they have to send the sample out to a testing house. Okay. Um, so this is a very uh, inexpensive unit to have. Engineer can put it on their table uh, or a researcher. And very quickly, within a couple of minutes, you get an image. Is that good enough? Or maybe you have to take it to, you know, I, I need to do multiple hundreds of thousands of, of magnification, may, and then they may take it somewhere else. Okay, so, 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 it's, a, so it's kind of an a, a inexpensive first pass uh, that you can do. That, well, inexpensive, right? That, that, that is one application, right? But we also sell these just as a standalone. You know, maybe somebody yeah. just wants to get started, they need an SEM. Um, you know, maybe this has enough features that, that that's all they need is just the benchtop system. So, is, so an SEM is the is the main thing about it is just the super, super high magnification? I mean, is that really, it, it's, it's really the only way to look at features at, at 20 nanometers? Yeah, it or, is. or is there you something get, else? Because of the, it's an electron you're, you're hitting it with, that allows you to get a much higher resolution. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, you know, you can you know, image, the simple, image the sample at multiple 100,000x, you know, 100, 200,000x. Okay. Um, and then also you get the uh, the capability of a large focus depth with an SEM. So okay. everything in the foreground and the background is all in focus in one image. And you can see that right here. I have a, right. a bond wire that's coming over, and that's above that pad. And everything here is in focus. Okay, so unlike, a, uh, unlike an optical system where it's, it's, it's got a focal length, this is basically infinite focus. And if you use an optical yeah. microscope, you know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. You get a very narrow focus band and everything above and below that is, is out, out of focus or defocused. Right. Is there anything that makes this uh, particular unit uh, stand out? Uh, any special features? Uh, it, the new six segment um, detector, uh, backscatter detector on here. We have uh, two different vacuum modes uh, for imaging uh, uh, non-conductive samples. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, anything else you want to share with us about this? One of the things that we didn't go over was the stage navigation system. So when I close, when I put my sample into the uh, to the fixture and close the door, uh, there's an optical camera in there that captures that uh, part as it passes under, kind of like your license plate in a toll booth. Right. So in the sam in the sample holder. That's okay. correct. Okay. And as you can see, I'm I'm scrolling down in magnification, and there. That uh, part that I have in there is displayed on the uh, with a live view. Okay, it's so called, that's, that's an optical image. That's optical. That's called okay. our zero mag. Okay. And as I scroll in on my sample, it, it uh, seamlessly transforms from the live image to the SEM image. Oh wow! Okay. And uh, another item here that we have is a is a live analysis. So we do have the uh, elements that are displayed in the screen shown live as we scroll in. Now that's the, that's the elements across that particular field of view? That's correct. Okay. Whatever's in this field of view is displayed on here. So here, right now I have more silicon than gold. Okay. But as I zoom in on this gold pad, you'll see that that uh, live analysis screen changes. And now you see that it pretty much filled the entire view with gold. And now you can see that that's gold that's being displayed. Ah, that's that's cool. So I mean, so it's, and that's that's being done live. That is live. Okay. So then if, as you move, like you just showed, as you move, you're going to get different different elements may or may not pop up as, as you move along. Okay. That That's true. And then if I, if I find a feature that I really want to inspect more, I can always go right into the elemental analysis uh, or to the map analysis and display whatever's in that field of view as well. Okay. So all of this kind of seems like it makes this pretty user-friendly, pretty easy to use. You don't have to be a, a scientist to use uh, this kind of SEM. I mean, it looks like you use it just like you'd use any other piece of industrial metrology equipment. I mean, it's got a pretty simple interface. That's right? very true. We come in, we support you very well. We come in and do the installation and the training. Within a day, you're, you're going to know how to operate this software inside and out. So it is very user-friendly and easy to use. Okay. A any special consideration? I keep thinking of the SEM as this, just this super finicky, high-end, you know, only scientists use it kind of product. But I mean, is this pretty much like plug and play? I mean, and, and 
It's as close as you can get. Uh, it just takes 110 voltage, okay. so that's all you need for facilities. Uh, you do need a fairly sturdy table to put this on. It is a beast. It, it is a beast. It's 150 pounds, <laughs> yeah. um, and, and then vibration, right? So you sure. want it. You want a sturdy table so that you don't induce vibration into the system. Although it does have vibration and isolation built into it, you still, still want to take yeah, precautions. Yeah. This does have a data management software on it, so all your imaging and documentation and everything is saved in, in a very easily user-friendly format so that you can pull up and print your document. It's already, you can set templates that you have it already pre-formatted and so that you can just pick the format that you want and send it to that document and get a PowerPoint or a uh, Excel document out of it. And you know, I was, I was just thinking, I mean, because I'm not really familiar with this technology, is it, the image you get, is it, is it like a, is it comparable to like a point cloud where you could bring it into you know any kind of point cloud analysis software and then you know play with it or is this really kind of a whole different beast when it comes to the data that you actually this get? does have the capability to show the sample in three dimensions okay uh, and there's a, a, a additional software smile map that will allow you to display that in three dimensions as well okay. All right, this is the JOL, what's the model? JCM7000. JCM7000. All right, thanks for coming uh, coming to the studio with us again. Uh, this is Dennis Fan, Senior Technical Sales Engineer with Nikon Metrology. If you want in more information on the JOL uh, SEM or any other Nikon Metrology equipment, just follow the URL on the bottom of the player page there. It'll take you out to the, the Nikon Metrology website, and you can look up more information on this. So. Thanks for joining us again today, and we will see you next week on QDL. So long.